All right guys, so today we're gonna show you how you can make calisthenics exercises easier because for most of the beginners, calisthenics exercises can still be quite advanced. Think of a pull up or a dip. Uh, most of you that start with calisthenics and haven't done any training before can be quite challenging to start right away with the pull up or the dip. So we're gonna show you several ways how you can decrease uh, the intensity of the exercise. So you will be able to do the exercises at any level. But before we're gonna start this video guys, we wanna do a short announcement where we introduced our new calisthenics basics course that we are releasing very soon. Like we said, it's our biggest project so far. We've been putting a lot of work into this course. It's not only, uh, it's not like a worker plan, but it's a complete course. Uh, with a theory part and also a practical part. Maybe you can tell a little bit more about the project. Yes, exactly. So there's uh, a calisthenics program, but that is only at the end of the course. Uh, before that, we have a huge part, which is 100% uh, theory. So you will learn everything about every exercise. We have multiple regressions and progressions. So even if you're a ultra beginner, you will learn everything about the basics of calisthenics. Yes, exactly. So if you want to get notified when we release this course, make sure to uh, sign up in the sign up form down below and also in the link right here. And you will get a, a discount if you sign up as one of the first uh, sign ups in the first 100 people. So without further ado, let's get into today's subject. All right, guys, so let's get started with today's video. And in today's video, we're going to pick four exercises which are considered as basic exercises but are still a little bit too hard for some of the beginners out there so we're going to explain how you can make these exercises easier and we're going to pick several methods on how you can make this exercise easier so let's start with the first exercise and that's going to be the pull-up so for the pull-up you obviously need a pull-up bar and a regular pull-up looks like this but that can still be too hard for most of us so um, how you can make it easier, there are three ways that I'm gonna explain. The first one is by doing jumping pull-ups. So you're actually gonna use the strength of your legs to get you on top of the bar. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna grab the bar, you're gonna do a slight jump. So this bar is a little bit too high for me. So what you wanna do is you wanna pick a bar like this so you can grab it while you're standing and then jump jump. So that is the first method to make the pull-up easier and the second method is with a resistance band. So these bands are available in different sizes. Uh, I'm gonna pick this one. And what you want to do, you want to step into the band with one feet or two and this band is gonna help you to get up. So if you have, so if you have access to bands I would really recommend to use them for the purpose of making your pull-ups easier. So the third way to make a pull-up easier is by doing negative repetitions. And for this uh, exercise, you're gonna use this box. So we don't need this one anymore. So you're gonna step into the box and you're gonna start on top of the bar. So you wanna grab the bar a little bit wider than shoulder width and you're gonna start with your chin above the bar. And from here, you're gonna lower down as slow as possible. Then you're gonna get loose from the bar and do another repetition. So try to make the downward movement for about five seconds. And with this method, you will really build the strength in your back muscles that will ultimately enable you to unlock the pull-up without any assistance. All right guys, so that was the pull-up. Now let's over to the second main exercise in calisthenics, which is the dip. So I'm gonna perform like a normal dip on the dip bars right here. So it looks like this. Grab the bar, depress your shoulders. And from here, lean forward, 90 degree angle in your elbows and go up. So this is how a correct dip looks like. But of course, it can be quite challenging if you have never done this exercise. So there are also a few ways how you can make this exercise easier. So the first one is by using a box again. I'm going to use this box. And you can do bench dips or box dips in this, in this case. So grab the box right here, step forward, depress your shoulders again and 
makes it dip. 90 degree angle in your elbows. If, if this is too hard, you can also bring your feet in and do it like this. So that's the first way how you can make the regular dip easier. Uh, the second one is by using an assisted band again. Most of the people don't even know that you can train the dips with an assistance. It's actually very easy. You grab the band like this in your hands. You can either do it in your knees or with your feet. I'm gonna do it with my feet in the band. So you step into the band just like this, go up and the band will help you to do the dips. Make sure to lean a little bit forward again. Elbows stay in the same position. And ultimately, you can choose a lighter band or a thicker band uh, to work to uh, regular dips. And the last way how we can make the dips easier is by using an explosive movement again, uh, by doing a jump. It looks like this. I'm gonna grab the bar again. And now we're not doing multiple repetitions, but only one repetition each time by using the momentum of our uh, knees, by doing a little squat, just like this, and bang. One, two, three. And it can also be quite challenging to stay in this position already if you're new to dips. So that's basically the three ways how you can make the dip easier. All right guys, so that was the second exercise. Let's move on to the third exercise and that will be the bodyweight row, also known as the Australian pull-up. So for this exercise, we're gonna use a low bar. Um, the regular row looks like this. So you're gonna lean back and pull your chest towards the bar, like this. Shoulder, hands a little bit wider than shoulder width. So how to make this exercise easier? The first and best method is to I have a different elevation. So you're just gonna walk forward to be able to stand a little bit more upright like this and then pull the bar towards your belly or your chest like this. So this is very easy for me. Um, if you wanna make it a little bit harder, you just do a little step forward like this until you can ultimately make it to this angle. So that was the first way to make this exercise easier. And you can also do this by using an assistance band. And this method might be new to you to use an assistance band with Australian pull-ups. But you can use it and you can, it, and you can do it in the following way. You grab the band like this behind your back. And grab the bar. And as you can see, the band will help me to get towards the bar. So if I'm gonna do a regular roll like this, the band is gonna make it easier for me. It's also a really good way to progress to a new progression with the row. Uh, for example, you only did it, did it lower right now, so then you can progress to a, like a newer and harder variation while using the band. Yes, exactly. So there's one more method to make this exercise easier, and that is by bending your knees. So the, the best way of, or the good way to perform this exercise is with straight legs because then you have to incorporate your core, which have to make your body straight like this. But you can make this exercise easier by just bending your knees. So you don't have to use your core to keep your hips in front. You just can do the exercise like this, and you have a little bit more stabilization while performing this exercise. So this is one method to make the exercise easier as well. So that was the third exercise, the bodyweight row. All right, so now let's move on to the very last exercise, probably the main exercise, the push-up. So the push-up, that looks like this. Starts on the floor, shoulder, hands at shoulder width apart, and from here, lower all the way down, and get back up in a scapula protraction. But of course, for some of you, this might also be too challenging to start off with. So there are several ways how you can decrease the intensity of this exercise. The first one would be, in my opinion, the best one is uh, by doing an incline push-up. So you can use an elevation again, uh, a box or a bench, or if you train at home, your couch. Grab the box and play with the angle of the exercise. So you place your hands again at shoulder width apart, and from here, straight body, 
Activate your core and your glutes and move towards the box all the way and get back up. The reason why I think this is the best way to decrease the intensity for push-ups is because you're doing the same exercise, um, the body stays in the same position, you're using your core, you're doing full range of motion, but only the angle of the exercise decreases, which makes this exercise easier. So then, if this one is still too hard, you can also do knee push-ups, of course. It looks like this. Start on the floor, this time from a plank position. Your knees on the ground, and from here, go all the way down and back up. You can make it a little bit harder by bringing the knees even further away from your body. Just like this. And then the very last way is by doing negatives with the push-up. If you want to go from a knee push-up to a regular push-up, this one is really good. You start in the plank position and now we're going to do negatives so we slowly going to lower ourselves down. Just like this for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. And repeat this as many times as you can. So that was the last exercise, the push-up. So now you have four exercises and three ways per exercise how you can decrease the intensity of the exercise. And like we said, we're coming out with a calisthenics basic course with a lot of different exercises just like these with a lot of uh, progressions and regression of each exercise showing you all the clues, all the details, all the intention points that you need to uh, work around with. Uh, in this video we just showed you everything uh, quite fast, uh, several ways how you can adjust the exercise but in the course we show you everything in full detail uh, with lots of uh, instructional videos as well. So uh, if you want to get notified of this course, it's coming out really soon. Make sure to sign up down below and also uh, check the link right here. Yes, exactly. So why did we make this course? It's basically because we just know that there are so many people who just cannot do a dip, a push up or a pull up and yet so many people on, on YouTube, so many teachers are uh, categorizing these exercises as the basics, but there are just so many people who cannot perform these exercises yet. So with this course, we're not gonna explain only these basic exercises, but we're gonna show you many regressions and also progressions, and we're gonna explain them in full details. All right guys, so that's it for the video, and make sure to sign up for the course, and we see you in the next video. Peace out. Subscribe, peace out. for a very affordable price uh, so I decided to try it if anyone's looking to start calisthenics I would highly recommend this uh, it'll it'll do the same for you I'm Gordon and I've been with calisthenics family for almost three months now and all the time I've had Yannick as my trainer uh, like Mike or Yannick can just be like that little extra push to keep you going you also seen the pictures I'm really proud of myself that what I achieved in the last eight weeks Go for it and start your journey.